Well, hey everybody. Today, we're gonna to talk about softball equipment again. I've got my son playing around down here, so he might see me distracted once in a while, trying to get him out of stuff he's trying to break, like the bats. But today, we're gonna to talk about lizard skin grips. Now, uh, just a little while ago, I put up a video reviewing a bat, which is right here. And go check out that video. It's the DeMarini Steel for this year. But I kind of don't like this grip too much. I think it's kind of rough and too thin for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a lizard skin on it. As you can see, I've got a couple bats here that I've already put that grip on in the past. And what I'd say about this grip and the main reason I like using it so much is just how spongy and squishy it is. And I think what that does is it uh, makes me swing through miss hits. So you swing in, you don't feel the vibration as much from the ball being up too far off the handle or out on the end. And you still have a nice follow through, which could still result in a hit, even though you didn't hit it just right. You still want to get nice, have, hard, have nice hard contact. And I think if I feel the vibration too much, I have a tendency to kind of let up in my in my uh, follow through uh, of my swing. So I think this lizard screen grip helps a lot. It's also nice and grippy and for the people that worry about that. I use batting gloves and it seems to really adhere to it really well with those. Uh, but I think if for the people that don't use batting gloves as well, it's a nice, really nice, soft, squishy surface. All right, and it makes the it makes the uh, the grip area a little thicker. So if you like that, um, if you think your bat area's grip is too thin, which I think it is the case with this one, um, you you might be worth getting one of these. And I will have a link to these in, down below on Amazon. So check it out, buy it to help the dumb guys out. And this is a red, white, and blue one, which I have a red, white, and blue batting glove, so it'll be a nice color coordination. Oh, Miguel, he's coughing. He's coughing, what are you doing? He's got a pin. All right, so first off, I always start by taking the tape off up here. There you go. And then just the rest of the grip just starts coming. So all you do is drop it down below. The old tape is off. Like magic. All right, let's go use the red, white, and blue. If I screw this up, I do have a backup. This one's kind of orange and gray. Um, so if the end result is me having a red, white, and blue on there, it means I did it right the first try. So, so old grip is off, new grip coming out of the package. This is the 1.8 millimeter DuraSoft Polymer back grip. this plastic off of here. Done. Okay, cut that off. And here's the piece that goes on the top, so we'll set that to the side. It has a nice little area here so you can write your number, so you can let people know it's your bat, or you can write your initials, whatever you want. All right, so the key here, I think, is the right amount of overlap into the right amount of tension. So you start by pulling this, the back off, Put it nice and snug on the bottom. Come around on your first try here. And then start just kind of, I like a little bit, I like, you know, quite a bit actually of overlap. Cause I, like I said, I'm going for the uh, extra mushy, extra thick feel. And that's another thing is you can give this a little bit less overlap if you don't want less of that. All right, so you, as you wrap it around, you pull it off. You pull off the backing. We check on my son and he is playing with something over there. Looks like he's all right. So you're making some nice progress. Right. The, the nice thing is you can kind of back off a little bit like this and redo a pass layer if you didn't quite get it down right. All right, so. Getting a little bit of a bubble here, so let me go back a little bit. Okay. Yes, tighter. Pulling it a little tighter than it was. All right, now we're back on to nice progress. Nice spin rate. Nice lap. Almost done. Look 
like this. It's looking pretty. Back up a little bit. Take it back. Oh, this is the beauty. Look at that. All right. There we go. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Now, back to this sucker. Now, see, we'll cover the last of the old grip there. Let's take that off. Whoop. Nice straight tight wrap for this last piece that goes on the top. Oh, the beauty. Look at that. That took me just a couple minutes to get that on there. So you can see now I got a nice thicker feel with my grip. And let's see if my son will let me borrow the little pin he's got in his hand. He's actually got the perfect marker for this. Come here, buddy. You gonna help? Let me see. All right, he's not happy. All right, I'll do it back. Right here, I'm gonna write number 10. So I already got my jersey for the season and pick my number. There you go, number 10, red, white, and blue grip. Nice feeling. And I know from the couple seasons I've used these grips before, I'm I'm going to like the feel, and I'll stand out because my bath's got a little bit of a custom look now. How about that? Lizard Grips, check it out. Amazon link below. Support the dumb guys. Have a fun softball season, and stay dumb. Dumb guys!